Breaking news. We won't negotiate with bandit terrorists anymore. Federal government. If you've been listening to us, you will hear us uh, in some of our reports say uh, Muhammad Buhari is in a deep slumber with regards to activities going on in this country. Not a long time ago, we just uh, reported to you that the governor of Kaduna State, Erofai, sent a strong message to President Muhammad Buhari telling him, whatever you want to do with the bandit, yes, go ahead and do it, your repentance program and all that. But here in Kaduna State, any bandit found, okay, we will, we will make sure we deal with them with the full route of the law. We don't understand how people who have deprived people the opportunity to life, to live, go about their lively duties, to be able to, uh, the opportunity to even live life. And then you come up and say you are giving them amnesty. Amnesty for what? From what, you know, this has really spared up a whole lot of uh, discussion and reaction in Nigeria. And a lot of people cannot understand Buhari's point of thought. Anyway, it's like he has just woken up and he has decided to say, we are no longer negotiating with bandits or terrorists, just like the Americans will say. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. We really, truly appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Breaking. We won't negotiate with bandit terrorists. Federal government declares. <laughs> The federal government has declared it won't negotiate with terrorist bandits. National Secretary Advisor NSA Major General Babagana Mongona retired, who stated this during the weekly ministerial briefing at the State House in Abuja, said, Government would rather deploy all necessary forces to eliminate criminals and crime from our land. According to him, negotiating with criminals with just weakness and incapacity on the part of the government. He said the government would not scrapple to and succumb to blackmail and the use of criminals by posits to harass innocent citizens. Why the government is not advisory to talking it may apply the necessary force because it cannot continue to trust these people. Government wants to use the military assets to eliminate them. And if along the line, they come out, they come out good in plain picture of weakness in capacity, Mongona has stated the government and we have decided no more negotiating with bandits or terrorists. We are ready for them, fire for fire. We need to keep our borders and keep our people safe. So, uh, like I said, Buhari has just woken up from his slumber. And like you can hear the news, it was not him anyway speaking. Okay, it was not Buhari anyway. Uh, we keep hearing that the federal government has issued a decree. The federal government has said A, B, C, D, Z. However, it's not the federal government, so to say. The federal government, well, you could say the federal government because it's not, it's not a one person, it's a body of persons. And uh, Muhammad Buhari has shown to Nigerians again and again that is not the only one in charge of the country. Is not the only. Is not the one who is actually giving direction, detection. You know, direction to what is really on ground. What is on ground is every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Because we have no president, we have nobody who is actually speaking, addressing issues of the country. Comes up and say a word, and that person is described as the presidency. You hear now they saying the federal government. You know, this is Mongona speaking. This is, a, a, you know, this is just an individual who is supposed to be minding security in the country. But what is he doing? He's going about, he's supposed to be the one, you know, that um, the military is supposed to be, re, you know, reporting to. Why Buhari is the commander of chief. This is the person assisting Buhari in that regard. But guess what? Recently, we have seen a stinge and continuous rapid increase in insurgents and we even see Islamic clergy going to them, offering them money and telling them that Nigerians can, can suck up, the, the, I mean, whatever they want to do is their business and nobody's answering. You know, the, the, the lines of, of, of um, 
religion has so divided the nation that nobody can speak if you speak and you condemn what islamic scholar is doing that is wrong is encouraging before you know it you are a soft target so i mean even the vice president when he speaks they say the vice president has spoken but this buhari boys so oh, they are the ones called the presidency is he femi adeshino is he garu bashiru is he lai mohammed so you can see who the cabals are even the attorney general of the federation these are the people who are given dictator and direction to Nigeria. We cannot continue on this line and intend that things will change. We must be decisive. We must be intentional. We must speak up with one voice. They are saying Buhari, the Buhari does not want to any further negotiate with uh, terrorists and those who have continued to put the country in a, in a, in a very you know bad situation. But honestly speaking, what are you doing to remedy the situation? What is being done? And that's why Nigerians, we cannot continue to keep quiet. We must all continue to speak out against evil doing, wrongdoing in our society, in our economy. And we must allow for, you know, for transparency. Because this set of people, they do not mean well for us. If you get what, what they are being protected you know, by the government, they are being protected by battalions of soldiers and army who stays around them. So they don't understand what the common man on the street is going through. They don't have the slightest imagination of a family member being kidnapped, the terror, the horror. They don't understand it. And that's why Nigerians, you cannot be quiet. Let's all speak up together with one voice and make our voices be heard. That is the only and true way we can actually make a true change in our society and economy. Today, what we see is that President Muhammad Buhari has not gotten the grip of the economy. Six years and more counting, yet we don't have a president, a leader, so to say. You know, when Olusha Gwabasanjo was there, we see him addressing the nation. When it was even a, a good luck Jonathan, we see good luck Jonathan come out and speak to Nigerians, even employ the services of foreign, you know, nationals to come into this country to help curb security. And they were getting at it until good luck, until uh, Buhari came in and, tam and terminated that contract. So what do we have today? A bunch of people who are the ones currently in charge of things that are going on in the country. These are people who do not mean well for Nigerians. These are people who are doing things in their own way, you know, and are just sabotaging the economy and, this, and the situation and the whole thing, putting people's life, you know, in, in whatever the situation may be. And Nigerians cannot even understand what is going on. But guess what? Things have to change. With you and I speaking up, yes, things must change. And that is why we must not be quiet in the face of all that is happening. You know, God is with us. And so we must not relent in doing the right thing. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.